When I heard Canelo get asked the question if he'd fight Crawford, my heart literally went there. I got so excited. It's a shame Canelo said no. But I would have loved to see in this fight. So I think it's the perfect time to see who would win in the undisputed boxing game AI. I love how the AI taunts after they get like flashed or get knocked down. I think the developers have done a really good job since the last update with the AI. It's so much better. Who do you think would win if these two actually fought each other? And Canelo said yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. It's time for our tale of the tape. This is Canelo Alvarez. He's 172 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. And he'll be facing Terrence Bud Crawford, perhaps the pound for pound king. Five foot eight inches tall with a 74 inch reach. Todd, this is well anticipated. I'm so looking forward to this tear up. These two are really up for it. And you know what? Nobody believes they're going to lose. This bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Fighting out of the blue corner from Omaha, Nebraska, here is an acclaimed three division champion of the world, Terrence. Bud Crawford! We've waited a long time for this. this These dude. athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. So much for boxing. This is a fight. And they just got their bell rung. Not a lot of defense here at all. Don't lose focus. Don't lose the control. Focus on your boxing. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break or fight it because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of... It looks like we're gonna see an early night here. He is rocked. I thought... And down goes Crawford. One, two, three, four, five. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. What a shot. Somebody can smell blood. Look at that. Look at that cool exterior. Look at what they're going to do. Walk them down, set them up. Don't make them blind them with a jab, then boom, let the shot in. Nice counter shot. He misses with that jab. Lands with the right counter. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. That'll be a ten. Here we go. Round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out. Caution is being thrown to the wind. And now they're right back in. Crawford in trouble. Come on, what are you doing? Stay focused. How is this fight still continuing? Oh, 
Why aren't they defending? That left counter was perfectly timed. Missed him with that uppercut. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counter punchers, my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap, just like a match made in heaven. They exchange punches. And he misses with that jab. Good counter punching for both these fighters. And he just misses with that jab. The Crawford may be ready to go down. Crawford's legs are all over the place. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Hi. What would you tell this guy? Come on, look at this. The bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. When you're fighting a counter puncher, the feint can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're going to punch, make the counter puncher throw a punch, and then you counter them. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Good left counter that lands. He just misses with that big right hand. Which fighter will say no moss? He threw the hook, didn't. Crawford's legs are all over the place. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Crawford is dazed. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. Well, there was no. He's gone. I'm. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. You don't want to trade shots. He got out of the way of that right hook. That counter shot lands. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Good counter punching. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Terrence Bud Crawford is on the canvas.
One, two, three, four, five, six. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. Who's willing to go where the other... As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Good counter punching from both these athletes. It's not over till it's over. Good round, I like that. On to the fifth we go. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know they're on. Terrence Crawford just got rocked. Do you believe this? Bud Crawford just got knocked down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Nice counter shot. Insane action. Don't worry about the round. Take a knee. The perfect counter lands. Crawford in trouble. Crawford is dazed. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. You've heard the phrase, finding a second wind. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. And time! So it's planned. Here we go in the sixth round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's gotta hustle now. He's gotta, he's gotta bluff them. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system to so a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. That left counter punch will score. Oh, my word. Canelo just got clipped. A big, heavy blow, and Saul is down.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're out. So it's onward and upward after another knockout win here. A knockout victory. That's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm here. I've arrived. Try that again. It will happen all over again.